for daughter. So, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Day 2. Say it properly. Day 2. Say, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So yeah, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. We're going to Tesco's today. We're getting a bit panicky because the schools, I think they should be shut. I know people have their opinions, but I personally think they should be shut and I'm able to have my kids at home. So what's, what's the point in them being at school? And um, there's been a case in year one, year two, and there's two nurseries there. So one nursery's out, so there's any reception and one nursery group there, which is Stanley reception. And I really don't want to send them, but, because they have to isolate for two weeks if someone gets it in their class, we're gonna go to Tesco's today, Jack, and try and get as much of our Christmas shopping as we can. Obviously not potatoes and fresh stuff like that. We're gonna see if we can get a turkey, get some prawns or a prawn cocktail, just get the basics so we know we're covered and we ain't gotta send someone out to get a huge Christmas list. All right, Stan. So that's what we're going to do today. I know it's a bit of a downer, but it's what it is now, isn't it? At least we've got a vaccine. Yay! But I'll show you what the elf has done. Shall we show them what the elf has done? So we come downstairs this morning. Excuse the state of my kitchen, that's next to be clean. And will you stop squeaking? Where's our shoe on for? And look what he's done. Is he going to die? No, he's not going to die. He's Spider Man. He's Spider Man elf. <laughs> That's a bit funny, isn't it? Spider-Man elf. Spider-Man Spider elf. Oh, Jack, stop pulling the tinsel out. I'll get you dressed, mate. Jack just wanted to show. Oh, what's the matter? Let's see your shoes. Where's Jack's shoes? He's got his new trainers on. I can't think. Oh, don't know. Little Nike ones. Look, look at your little trainers. These ones are so cute. I've got twelve quid in the sale. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Need a haircut. What's that? <laughs> We're now going to Tesco's Jack Jack. <laughs> Go Jack Jack. Be free. <laughs> Do it. I wish I'd have got them the next size up with them trainers now. <laughs> we are at Tesco's, it's a bit busy. It's like lockdown's over, let's go out! Back, I couldn't really film in Tesco's because oh my god, I didn't realise they'd called it a wild Wednesday. I literally only went to get some shop and I've never been so close to so many people in one go, but that was absolutely mental. So I thought I'd show you what we've got. Dave's now gone to bed because he's got work. Jack's in bed, so I am on my own, which is lovely. And I'll show I'm gonna sneeze. And that's gone. I'll show you what I bought. So we bought some Christmas things and some normal food. So I've emptied each bag and I'll show you what we bought. So Dave's got these for work. I think they reduced one pound four three bargain. He's taking them to work. God knows how he's going to cook them. Some cheese slices because Stanley's living off them at the minute. Pork skinny sausages because they look bloody lovely. Seafood sticks because George take them to school. Bananas because mine just live off bananas. Dairy dunkers for lunchbox. Cheese string for dun dunkers for lunchbox. Um, after eights for Christmas. And these were free for five, free for five pounds. Not that we're going to eat all these in one go, but you know what I mean. We've got these for Christmas. Pigs in blankets. 12 pigs in blankets. Some turkey filler, whatever that is. Meat for Dave's sandwich filler. That's what I was trying to say. To take to work. Some pepperoni slices. Tic Tacs for the elf. Baked beans. We've got about five tins of them. Mr. Kipling Frosty Fancies for the kids. And then this is the bit for Christmas. We've got some cheese twists. Swiss? Cheese twists. Oh my god. Cheese twists. Breadsticks, bacon rashers, cheesy balls, and then some Pringles. That's my Christmas pile so far. And we got some Tesco ketchup because my kids literally eat up, just eat that. Orange and peach water for Stanley because he don't like clear water, plain water, whatever. Um, turkey gravy for Christmas. Cheese, just raw croissants. I see Mrs. Hinch do them. I know what I try them out. They look cool. So, got some of them to try stuff them for Christmas. Wraps for the kids' breakfast and then loaf of bread 
And then antibacterial hand gel, that's the new shopping staple, isn't it? <laughs> and then in the last bag, we've got eight yogurts that Jack live off in George Avenue's packed lunchbox, 10 dippers for two, waffles, and then sweet corn, two packets of broccoli, because my kids love broccoli, and oh, <laughs> a dented milk. And then we were a bit naughty and had a voucher. So we got some donuts for the kids and my holy grail, my Pepsi Max. Got Anna Tim for a turkey that we haven't even bought yet. <laughs> Poor Christmas tree because Jack keep attacking it. I'm gonna have to sort it out when it gets near. Look, everything's up the top now, so I'm gonna have to sort it out. But anyway, I've just got. Oh my god, I got paint on me. Look, I didn't realise. I've got um, done an order because it's um, Christmas jumper day. I, don't, I think I said yesterday, and I realised Grace didn't have a jumper. Hoping they make it to. Christmas jumper day Friday, it's only two days away but you never know what's going on and also bought her a party dress for because they've all got parties next Friday hopefully <laughs> so I thought I'd show you what I got her so this is the jumper I got her and it's a bit big but that will do her next year as well so I like try and size up the different dresses and um, dresses Jenna what are you talking about D different jumpers because then they get more wear out of them because that did actually cost £17 Tesco's where we went today didn't have nothing like they had little baby outfits and that for Christmas but literally like that was it so I'm glad I ordered this and not waited till today to go to Tesco's yet is that what I'm trying to talk about I think so and I bought her a dress and I can show the tights quickly I don't know if the tights are gonna go I thought the dress was more of like a navy tool 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 net skirt so I bought um navy glittery tights which what size are they they look tiny oh they're fair but I don't know if they're going to go, so I'm not going to lay them out and show you. So Grace is a bit of a tomboy, and she do like girly things, but when it comes to dresses and that, she she's a bit... She likes dresses, but she likes them to be different. So I bought her this one. It's got, like, a tall neck skirt at the bottom and a grey top. It's not very, like, party dress, but it's up Grace's street. And it costs £20 from Next, which really pee me off, because I know Nick, in two weeks' time that'll be half price, but... This will last her for ages. I've looked at it and it's, I've bought the like the next size up again. So I fit her for now. But it's got long sleeves so I've got a faff around the card. You're going to hate look when When you buy a party dress for a girl that's always got short sleeves or spaghetti straps. Which I don't like on... She's nine so I don't... A bit older, fair enough. So this is uh, literally up by street so I'll show you it. It's like this grey coloured like jumpery effect. It's really thick actually for what I thought it was, it's got all ruffles around the neck, it's got ruffles on the sleeve and then you've got this beautiful two, I think it's two, two, two like skirt and it's like a, uh, it's like a grey but like that is more like purple or lilac, it's gone really dark sorry, it's like really dark now so I can't show you properly but she's got these tights to go with her, add a bit of glitter and I think yeah they go alright but I've bought a black biker boots, um, not biker boots, yeah, are they biker boots? Um, like Doc Martens, um, oh, what are they called? You know what I mean, like lace-up boots, the shiny ones, they ain't coming until next week. I was hoping, I think I said this yesterday, we were going to Primark this week, I thought Dave was off till tomorrow and we were going to go today, which was ridiculous because it's manic, so I probably wouldn't have got anyway. So I thought I'd have more time to get her a party outfit, but I'm a bit... These boots aren't meant to come till next week, so I'm starting to panic a bit. But I'm hoping we can go to Primark before the party on Friday. Fingers crossed. If not, it might have to be like a Tesco or Asda jobby, which is fine. But I like to get her something that I know not all her class are going to be wearing. Does that make sense? Not that I'm a snob or anything like that, because you know what they're like. They take cardigans off, take... Well, to be honest, they take shoes off, they take anything off at school. And that get muddled up. Even if you name it, you end up with this, with a different thing. So I just thought, oh, well, hang on. And these boots, she go on the beach with my nanny for walks and that. They'll get a lot of wear out of them. I just, this is so pretty. I got, um, George, so who, which one have I got? Stanley, a little checked shirt with Father Christmas on. I bought that off eBay second hand. And he's wearing his little jeans and his trainers. So he's sorted for his party. And he's got a Christmas jumper. George's school. Cool. Uh, when I went to high school, we'd done everything like the other schools, like primary schools. We'd done children in need, like non-uniform. We'd done something called Christmas karaoke at school, which was like the highlight of our Christmas. Like, I remember, I, I used to love that. And now George's school, what, what I've seen is you can only wear non-school uniform if you've got 100% attendance, which is ridiculous with what's going on in the world. And 
they don't do nothing. And I think I was only 11. I think that's really sad that they literally finished primary school. and zoop. Well, they didn't even finish primary school, did they, technically? He, he finished March. Hasn't been back into a school, into his school, which is really sad. He didn't get to say goodbye to anyone, which is really horrible. But I, I just think they're, they're still only little. Even though they're at secondary school, they're still only little. I weren't even there till I was 12. Yeah? Yeah, George started year 7. I started year 8 at high school. I think I always missed that one a year. I know it sounds ridiculous, but they're only little for a little while, aren't they? It's horrible. Just got in from school and Stanley wanted to show you his Christmas decorations that he made. Go on, show us then. I've got you on here. Show that one. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. It's like this. Yeah, that's lovely. And then this one? I like this one as well. Hey. Is it a little snowman? Yeah, it's mine. Oh, that's lovely. Did you make them at school today? Not yesterday. When you said I needed to do it. Took you 600 years to do it? No. Wow. It has wound up down to a week. Yeah, around, yeah, in your name, didn't you? You have an app. Round the apple and down the... This is not my name. That is your name. I don't have a... Stanley. Amazing. No, you don't have Mazy Mountain Mountain. You have a N. No. N. Like half a Mazy Mountain Mountain, don't you? Can you, can I put it out? Can you put pictures? Do you want to put them on the tree? Can you show it to everyone? Yeah, go and put it on the tree then. Let's put it up high because you know what Jack's like. What? Should we put, Mummy, put this one here? And can you put it in the next way? Can I put it somewhere? Put it up a bit high because Jack might get That's it. That's perfect. I don't see it. We'll turn the lights on. Oh, that is brilliant. That is lovely. Is it the one way round? Yes, yeah, right way round. Oh, that is lovely. Can you attach another one? Yeah, there's the other one. That is lovely. So I've done the tea, they literally had fish finger things, whatever I bought today, waffles and some beans, because I can't be naff today. They're now in the bath screaming their heads off. So I thought I'm going to tidy this up, do the washing, and lay in bed and watch the crown, I think, tonight. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here for tonight. I'm sorry these aren't very Christmassy at the moment. It's just hard with the pandemic and all that shite. Them at school. Sorry, stuff. They're at school. Days off next week. We've got things to do, hopefully. Um, days out and that. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. So I'll see you again f tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.